album Bags France's Heart is a wonderful movie about chaos. But not just any chaos, a beautiful chaos that swells you around and drags you through the ups and downs of living a life you can be proud of. A life that you are not ashamed to admit has been tough, but one that ultimately ends down a path that you are satisfied with. Greta Gertwig, the star and co-writer, plays Francis, an apprentice dancer in New York as we see her struggle to break into that industry and as she comes to terms with that she isn't a child anymore and must take more responsibility. Hmm, you seem older. I'm a couple months older. Like, a lot older. But less, like, grown up. It's weird. A 27-year-old without a proper job or a place of her own to stay. It's a story that feels relatable in the sense that she is a character pushed by a passion for her dancing and her friend Sophie that she just wants to stay in this moment, where her and Sophie keep living together and they can go out drinking and having endless fun forever. But that perfect world she has created, a world that lacks responsibility, is broken into tiny pieces with Sophie leaving to live with someone else, leaving Francis to find another accommodation. I want to move into this car with Lisa. It's this great apartment in Tribeca, which is what I've always wanted, and you know that, but I don't want to do it if it's not okay with you. Oh. There we get to see how this movie is structured, as each new place Frances lives becomes a chapter that eventually ends with her living on her own and in her own apartment. But before she gets to that point, we see Frances make decisions that seem to be more counterproductive, like she is self-harming her future to stay in this spot of comfortability, where she and her best friend stay in their apartment forever. A world in which she never truly progresses in her life because she finds that struggle of suffering more comfortable than changing. I know, that sounds weird where she finds that struggle of suffering more comfortable than changing. And what do I mean by that? Well, by not taking job offers as shown by her rejecting the admin role at the dance studio. Do you want to take over Nancy's position? Nancy who works in the office? She's pregnant. Oh, no, I don't. Working back in her old college just so she gets a room and making excuses to not live with her then current boyfriend. And her taking that job in her old college to me amplifies her desire to not step forward. She's 27 years old and takes a job that the current students of that college take, but for her, she sees it as some kind of progress. A step closer to her ultimate dream of being a dancer, but a step in reality that was backwards, as she could not even participate in the dance lessons. The main reason she wanted to work there. Are you with the program? Oh uh, yes, I'm assisting. Oh great, so you're a teacher? No, I'm not. I'm an RA, but I'm also a dancer. I'm so sorry. Oh what? Uh, resident assistants can't take class. Her dance teacher even gives advice on her future, saying that she has a career as a dance choreographer rather than an actual dancer. It's just a good day job while you figure out whether you want to choreograph or what. You say it like it's easy. No, it's not easy. But if you work here, you can use the studio space. No, I'll get something else. But because this is not what she has dreamt of, as Frances wanted to always be a dancer, she decides against it, instead taking a step back and working at her old college. But with the constant setbacks Frances endures, she's a character that warms the heart because she faces life with a smile. And that's what makes her such an endearing person. One that can feel a bit much, shown by her trying to play fight with someone she hardly knows. Just come at me. No. <laughs> okay, well then I'll just... Oh my God, stop it! <laughs> or when she outright says how much she does not like her friend's partner. I was lying, I don't love Patch. I do love him. Since when? When did this happen? But these moments are easily forgotten because you understand that she's not doing these things on purpose to be annoying or hurtful, but it's just part of her personality that makes her character that you root for. She is not perfect. As her friend says, she's undateable. But that's what makes her Frances, a unique voice that feels so personal. Like we all have been Frances at one point in our life, carefree but with the weight of the world on our shoulders, smiling at the obstacles that face you down. And she does have obstacles, the uncertainty of where her next leap might be, to being left out from the Christmas dance tour. Frances, I, I wanted to tell you so that you would have some days to process it. We won't be able to use you in the Christmas show. And her biggest obstacle, herself. She makes questionable decisions such as going to Paris when she doesn't have enough money to get her own apartment so she pays it with a credit card. Wait, I thought you were poor. I'm gonna use this credit card I got in the mail. That's not smart. That's what they want. They want to keep you in debt. I know that. I see documentaries. <laughs> but that's the chaotic life she lives and I admire it. Her passion for her craft as a dancer, her passion for her friends and to just have an interesting life. Yet her life is very mundane as she sleeps until midday and watches movies on the couch every night. 
And that's why I say she finds that struggle of suffering more comfortable than changing. Because these moments are distractions from her biggest problem and that's herself. No money, she refuses to work. No opportunity to become a professional dancer, she refuses to be a dance teacher. Self-sabotaging herself in order to keep a status quo that is actively against her own self-interest. A dreamer that's so scared of failure she doesn't take the necessary risk but instead goes on every judgement on a whim. But I understand her. I get a problem because I do the same. I'm comfortable but I'm suffering. I want a new job but I lack the actual willpower to change that so I sit here writing YouTube videos hoping this will change my path. Just like Francis who keeps pursuing a goal that is always being pushed further and further away. But then there comes the moment where life and responsibility all kicks in. Where she understands that sometimes a dream can be pushed to the side in order for some stability and happiness. That it is alright to look for alternative avenues. So, Francis works as an admin at a previous dance studio and becomes a dance choreographer. Where she then puts on a show and makes enough money to rent her own place. Because her beautiful kale slows down and now her life is just beautiful. A job she's proud of, a friend she loves and a place to call home. In the end, Francis gets the last laugh.